Hi guys, this is Arif from TechShare. Today I'm going to share a couple of things. Um, so I'm going to share guys how this link, so Sitecore has a link builder, um, which you can utilize to um, extend a couple of behavior of generating the links. So we are going to see how could, how could you set the display name as a sort of uh, your link um, provide a link builder use the display name instead of using the item name or title and also we are going to um, show you guys how could you easily um, produce the site map xml file so let's get started all right so let me show you guys um what we did so far so you can see here if we hitch over this home item then you will see on the left bottom it says that localhost 3000 and the language prefix for about you can see en about and then the contact us you can see the contact us right so we have done everything sort of through a um, couple of configuration and also some item changes so I'm going to show you guys everything so instead of using the en if we use the other language which is my Japan language then you'd see Japan um, well there is no sort of um, such page but if I only use the home page of Japan which is that um, then you can see this is also not coming right the reason behind that is um, if you go here in this um, sort of site settings right now you'll see I have a site which is this top recipe and top row recipe has a home item and you can see here it has basically two version Japanese language and English language now from the site course side what else we need to do in the settings if I go to site grouping and my site item here then you will see that I have done so far uh, whatever I need, really needed to done so in that here you can see I have my um, start item and then in the in the uh, language I also have embedding the language embedding options so that is why basically the the en is appearing in the link right so we have done everything here in terms of the uh, CM side now why my japanese side is not you know coming so what my intention here is in the home item i want to see this japanese version when i am going to type jjp in terms of that if you see in the in the rendering host side you have to configure a couple of things first of all in the next config js file we need to see do you have the language support here or not you can see I don't have any language support here so what you need to make sure is you are basically providing all the locals that you are going to support in your application from the rendering host side so what I am going to do now I am going to create another local for my JSAP that I am going to do now all right so now I have this one saved uh, but this is basically changing in the next config this so I'm not sure if that basically will so I just need to restart this one um, so I'm going to restart that one at the same time we also need to see if is there any other places that I also need to provide the same sort of local the easiest way for you guys to search is if you go here in the search and then just simply search this EN here And then you'll see there is another place which is called redirect and if you open um, the comments here if you see the comment the comment says that there are all the locals that is support in your application so I have already supported the e Jap Japan here so what you need to do we also need to provide the uh, Japan local here so I've saved this to one this this is basically the two option that we needed to select now if I restart the application one more time here uh, so let me go clear and then sorry 
yes so now we'll see if everything is coming as expected um so that was my sort of something to show you guys number one and number two obviously the site xml uh, sitemap xml i'm going to show you that part as well so now if i go here and i try to try to go here in the japan right now let me see if that actually comes as correctly or not uh, okay let me see it is still running 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 and then you can see they are all coming fine so now you can see uh, my japanese page or home page doesn't have any content so that's why you cannot see anything here but what if i go and so you can see here there are some so the styling reason i cannot show you guys the top menu but you can see here this is the home page jsap and then here we have the about page so if i go about page then you can see the about page is also coming fine and if i hitch over to my other one which is also about page by the way uh, contact us sorry japan but it, it also doesn't have anything and the home page also doesn't have anything but yeah you can go easily and put some home content in the japanese language here version you can simply say hey um i need to put something here so you can basically put some content here and that will appear here or even if you want to go here presentation details and um, you can basically put some some item here <coughs> in the in the japanese language version uh, maybe in this this text um, they are basically all uh, it doesn't have any any sort of Japanese version in the uh, so if I go here in the experience editing mode well I mean this experience editing mode will not work because um, it basically listened to rendering 3000 my container but I am running my local um, rendering host as a sort of local instance so I'm not running my docker container but I configured my um, JSS to communicate directly to my um, uh, Sitecore site core host, which is basically hosted inside my XM cloud um, cloud environment, basically Sitecore cloud environment. Um, so that's number one part, right? So this is all working fine. But what about the sitemap? So if I now go here and I type sitemap.xml here, then you would see my sitemap is also correctly coming. Now in the view source page, let me basically show you guys the details thing that you can see every page that I have, it has a language version of English as well as a Japanese and they are all correctly because this is also important. You have to make sure what about the link you are producing here. Um, basically I, in the, in the, let me go to the home page correctly. So in the home item, whatever the link you are producing. So for contact us, I am producing contact us Japan link uh like this contact us japan here so have have to make sure that yeah this, this is all working the same way uh in the in here as well <coughs> sorry so now you can see uh for japanese we have this contact us japan um at the same time for english version there is also so there are two links basically uh contact us japan on is um through your um about so contact us japan the english there are also two one is about another one contact about us japan and for contact us we have a contact us japan the same basically you know display name for english as well as japanese but for about we have a two different thing uh, you can see everything is here um and then uh yeah well i mean this is all standard so they are all coming so now i'm going to show you quickly guys how could you configure the uh, sitemap in the typical way of configuring sitemap you know you have to uh you know override some of the request be request begin pipelines and things like that but for uh sxa version of uh, uh sitecore xm or xp it has really easy so it has implemented internally all those different templates and items so it is easy but for sxa headless it's even easier so you really literally don't need to do anything so what you need to do is if you see um uh, sx headless has basically implemented the fully flexed feature of you know this sitemap so what they have if you extend oh, sorry if you expand the settings then you will see there is a sitemap dedicated item <coughs> and this sitemap dedicated item will allow you to have or uh, to give all those different options like um, let me uh, sorry oh, this is japanese language let me go to the english version 
then you see they are all you know you just need to use the sort of settings that you need so by default they are all allowed um so if you want to do some overriding for example the link provider name if you have a separate link provider name then you could use that one if you have a separate cr crawler for example you can use the index crawler as well you can use that on here and the refresh threshold where you are going to store the file is it in the memory or in the file system so this kind of thing expiration of your cache and things like that <clears throat> so you can all configure here and that's all you need to do uh, in terms of the display name right so we are basically using the display name so i did not um, show you guys that part so that part what you need to do is you just need this kind of configuration um, so you, we have that um, links url builder use display name true some people might think this is enough uh, but uh, we checked and found that you also need to provide this part as well so in the link manager provider the localized provider you have to specify with a patch attribute uh, use display name true if you don't do that then xm cloud at least will not work um, in the local it might work but if you publish that changes to xm cloud instance then it might it will fail definitely because this is how we figured that out uh, in the couple of days and also if you uh, want to uh, deploy your changes to as such great experience is that part will fail if you don't use the, uh, that part so you have to make sure you're using this correct configuration patch that will basically allow the use display and property for you all right i think i have mentioned everything so how you are going to configure that part how you're going to configure the language prefix and also the support of your language local in in the rendering host side so uh, yeah i mean then that way you could easily solve a couple of things you could basically produce your sitemap quite easily number one and sitemap will respect your language prefix or language whatever the language you are adding uh, it will respect and accordingly build your different urls that is expected and the other thing is the link some people might think that okay hold on i want to use my display name items display name not the name then yeah you could also use this kind of patch and you know accordingly um, basically use this one i guess guys that's all for today uh, if you find this video helpful then give me a thumbs up or share you know share this video or um subscribe my channel um and uh, that's all for today i'll catch you very soon with the next video with a new video till then bye bye